My name is Jeff Royer. Spent a couple hours getting this fit just right. You can call me Dad. I'm making my first ever buoy, learning strictly from the online course that my son Kyle made. Just like this marker right here, we're gonna go crossways. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to try to accomplish all my hand sanding and get my guard fit. What we're gonna do is take this 220 grit and we're gonna go crossways, just like this marker right here. We're gonna go crossways. Then on the next grit, 320, we're gonna go the other direction. So we make sure that we get our, all of our scratch marks out. We're gonna stop at 320. We're gonna come in here next. We're gonna take this down about one inch thick. We're gonna grind this nice little, uh, nice sweet radius in here, make that look really nice. And then we're gonna come in and we're going to grind our clip in both sides. Just like that, we got the clip ground in both sides and we got the plunge grind all cleaned up, tuned in, and now we're getting ready to slap the file guard on there. Just got done filing in around this file guide all the way around it so it's nice and flush. There's a nice shoulder on there. Now we're gonna get rid of this little dimple right here and, and feather that out so it's a gradual transition instead of a, a divot right there. Just got this nice and smooth on all two sides here, and these two sides are gently tapered, so that guard's gonna fit right up on there, nice and snug and fit. But before we put that guard on there, we need to go put our name in there. Let's go do it. So I'm trying to take all the dimensions off of this and find where it goes on the Ricasso. I propose that box right there, a little black box is where this lettering goes. You can actually hear the electricity flowing through the wires. Here, listen to this. Hear it? got my maker's mark on there, nice and deep and black. Then we're gonna do the perfect garden fit tomorrow. That's what we're gonna work on first thing. The next day. We've got a drill bit that we wanna shoot for, 184 thousandths, but we're gonna pilot with it eighth inch first. A little bit out, big bit in. Ta-da! Holes. Builds character. As soon as we get these connected, we'll take a flat file and start turning that crazy looking slot into a nice, slick rectangle. Beautiful. There it is. <laughs> we got it started. 
We gotta go another four inches, five inches. <laughs> it's gotta go all the way up here. A few inches later. I just got my guard to fit on here most of the way. Now we're gonna take it over to the vise and we're gonna take a special tool we made and we're gonna bang the tar out of it and start getting that to fit. Okay, we got the guard fit up against the ricasso, so it just started hammering out here on these outer edges and down along the side, just gently. So now we're gonna relieve all this area in here so it's recessed and inlaid. Spent a couple hours getting this fit just right. Worked it back and forth, back and forth. And eventually I got it to fit on there just right. Perfect guard fit. We're gonna do basically the same thing with this spacer. We're gonna go through the same process we went through putting that guard on there. And then we're gonna make that spacer fit on there just like that. Just like that, the spacer fits on perfectly. Ugh, beautiful, snug, tight. On the next video, we're going to take the handle material and we're gonna get it to slip on there perfectly on that square hole, on that square shank, on the square tank. Square on the hole? Rectangular, on the rectangular tank. Is there such a thing as a square hole? <laughs> hey guys, Josh here. I edit these videos on YouTube. I want to say a quick thanks to the pommel nuts you are part of the reason I'm able to quit my job being a mechanic to work with my family making free YouTube content. I just wanted to welcome a few of the newest pommel nuts who have bought the online course. So yeah, thanks. I can't see anything because I'm blind as a bat. Everything gets so small. Why does everything have to be so small? Coffee break. Uh, it's too far away. I can fix that. Ah, just right. Oh, coffee break over.